Whenever Cal L needed wisdom, whenever he needed advice, guidance, he went to the Fortress of Solitude. The Fortress of Solitude was a cave of crystals. And the Fortress of Solitude was connected to artificial intelligence and robots. Superman actually had robots in his Fortress of Solitude in many different episodes. So the Fortress of Solitude is ran by artificial intelligence. Keep that in mind. Now, in Mexico, uh, Niagara, Mexico, I hope I'm saying that right, there is a underground cave of crystals. This is a real photo of giant selenite crystals. Now, if you know anything about selenite crystals, side note, if you've ever met me in real life, chances are I've given you a crystal. <laughs> I give crystals to pretty much a lot of people. Anyway, um, selenite crystals are used for channeling, right? So it's no coincidence that Superman went to this Fortress of Solitude to channel wisdom. Now you can just pause to read, but the Fortress of Solitude is where Superman learned about his true identity and his purpose on Earth. Now his Fortress of Solitude is said to be located in a polar waste his fortress of solitude was also um, located in mountains located in the north pole it's always located somewhere cold it has to be because if you know anything about artificial intelligence more specifically quantum computing quantum computing needs to be held in like pretty much sub-zero temperatures in order to function correctly now you can see here the locations were like Antarctica, the Andes, and the Amazon rainforest, but always deep underground. Superman first established secret fortresses in outer space and at the center of the Earth before settling on the Arctic location. Now when it says outer space, space means period of time. So outer space just means outside of the period of time that you are used to. Uh, so like spaceships are just like time ships, right? Because Anyway, additionally, Superman established an undersea fortress of solitude. You can just read what it says here. And at the bottom of this highlighted area, it says Superman later abandoned the undersea fortress and the structure is now used by the Mer people of Atlantis as a show place and a tourist attraction. Now, keep that Atlantis part in mind because where was Atlantis? Maybe we'll find out in this video. Or actually, if you saw my... I've, I've already told y'all. Essentially, before I continue, what I'm trying to get at here is that crystals can be used to send signals, to receive signals for communications. Um, crystals can hold memory. Crystals can hold consciousness. And I personally believe that, that crystals are being used to run the simulation. Think about this. You have crystals in your brain, magnetite crystals. You have ramahedral crystals in your pineal gland. Crystals are used in time, for time in watches and clocks. Crystals are also used for computing. Which brings me to this article. Researchers discover a new way of computing with liquid crystals. While the new technique will not result in transistors or computers right away, it could go a long way in creating devices with new functions in computing, sensing, and robotics. Now, with using liquid crystals, we showed you can create elementary building blocks of a circuit gate, amplifiers, and conductors, which means you should be able to assemble them into arrangements capable of performing more complex operations, said Juan de Pablo. It's a really exciting step for the field of active materials. These have many characteristics of electrons in a circuit. We can move them long distances, amplify them, and shut or open their transport as a transistor gate, which means we could use them for relatively sophisticated operations. So, if you have crystals in your brain, magnetite crystals and ramahedral crystals, I believe that those crystals can be used, right, to send and receive signals. This is how telepathy works. Also, if all of your organs have, like, resonant frequencies, and I showed you a video the other day that is showing that you can run, like, real fleshy organs by using... Um, circuits by using computing then i personally believe that you can since your central nervous system runs everything in your body and your central nervous system is ran by your pineal gland then you can uh pretty much run a full body only by using the crystals in your brain and how would you do this the main power source would be nuclear fusion our sun 
And the same crystals that you have in your pineal gland is the reason why you dream because your pineal gland secretes dimethyltryptamine from the crystals in your pineal gland and which gives you dreams. It's the same way that you can use crystals in, in a computer since we have a lot of similarities to computers. And when we go to sleep, we are being recharged by the contents that are being dripped from our brain, right? So um, you can send and receive like electromagnetic signals from the crystals in your brain. And this is how you, the 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 electromagnetic waves from your brain can be intercepted by using radio frequencies, like something like a 5G tower. This, for example, this is why when you um, think, just think about something without voice in it, you can see an ad on your phone for the thing you're just thinking about because the electromagnetic waves leaving your brain can be intercepted by your phone. And I, I like this last part. You should go and read this whole article, but it says that perhaps one could perform functions inside of a synthetic cell by using liquid crystals. And our body is composed of nothing but cells. And this is why Microsoft was studying how to enter an operating system inside of a cell, which they were successful. I'm not going to say how because I want, don't want this video to be shut down. Okay, so quartz is a crystal used in watches, computers, and other devices to keep time. When electricity is applied, the quartz crystal vibrates or ticks at ex an exact 60 seconds per minute. This picture shows an example of a type of crystal you will find in a computer, right? This example is a 24.756 megahertz crystal on a computer sound card. There you go. So, yes, qu quartz crystals are used in computing. Just think about that for a second. Your watch that you have... If you have like a, you know, not like an uh, eye watch, but like a, you know, a tick tick watch, then that watch has a quartz crystal in it. And your pineal gland sits in liquid and it also runs off of vibrations, right? And your pineal gland is how you perceive time. This comes from Ken Sheriff's blog, Tear Down of a Quartz Crystal Oscillator and Tiny IC Inside. The quartz oscillator is an important electronic circuit providing highly accurate timing signals at a low cost. A quartz crystal has the special property of physoelectricity, changing its electrical properties as it vibrates. Since a quartz can be, can be cut to vibrate at a very precise frequency, quartz oscillators are useful for many applications. Quartz oscillators were introduced in the 1920s and provided accurate frequencies for radio stations. Rich watches were revolutionized in the 1970s by the use of highly accurate quartz oscillators. Computers use quartz oscillators to generate their clock signals. So computers work by toning the quartz crystal by a certain frequency, which gives it its functionality, which makes the computer operate. So the crystals in your pineal gland, right? The, it sits, it sits in a pool of liquid, the vibrations help the crystals to be toned at a certain frequency. And more particularly, the frequency should be or is 7.83, which is the frequency of the third dimension, Earth. But if you take something like, you know, mushrooms, dimethyltryptamine, like a, something that has been charged in like the electromagnetic field, which has a special code, then if you take it, you can bypass the frequency that you are set at, and then you can experience other frequencies um, here on Earth. And piezoelectricity is the electric charge that accumulates in certain solid materials, such as crystals, certain ceramics, and biological matter, such as bone, DNA and various proteins in response to applied mechanical stress. I thought 10 minutes was going to be enough, but obviously not. But anyway, you can see here, uh, this is just the inside of a crystal um, circuitry. And you can see the crystal disc and everything around the crystal disc, which makes it run. And it always is always going to need a grounding pin because it needs to be grounded to the electromagnetic field. You can pause to read, but the last sentence of this first paragraph says, the inverse piezoelectric effect is used in the production of ultrasound waves, right? Which is really interesting because ultrasound waves is used to bring in new life. So crystals are used in pretty much every aspect of this simulation. And you have crystal pyramids in the Bermuda Triangle, which is in close proximity to the underground crystal cave in Mexico. And I thought this uh, part was pretty neat, so you can pause to read to see all the ways crystals are used.